Hey everyone, it's Plumberia, and welcome or welcome back to my channel, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations Part 35. And so in the last part, um, Fleetfoot aged up, Adian and Garado had a little girl named Nesta, and Aelin and Robbie started going steady, but Torn doesn't know yet, so that should be fun. Oh, is that Ianthe? Hey, girl. Where's she off to? Anyways, a formal dance will be happening on Thursday. So she'll probably go with Robbie. Ugh. I don't know, though. I really wanted to go with Torn, but... Mm, I don't know. We'll have to see. But yeah, so she's going to... Um, be telling Torin that she's actually dating Robbie, which will be probably not good because Torin does have a secret crush on her, so it will probably not be, it will probably not go very well. But we will definitely try and kind of reason with him a little bit. Um... So she is at art club right now, her after school activity, and is he home actually? No, he's not. Okay. Where is he at? Okay, invite out. And we're going to invite him to the beach, and we're going to meet him there. Also, Fleetfoot is pregnant. Um, that happened as well. That's fun. Anyway. Oh, here he is. Alright, so to mimic the kind of thing of... Um, we're going to, I guess... Um, chat a little bit, I guess? I don't know. Oh, cool. He got promoted. And... Just kind of talk a little bit. And then... We are going to accuse him of being a diva. Maybe like she's telling him right now and he reacts weird and... She just accuses him. <gasps> oh yeah, this is good too. Words simply cannot describe my displeasure when in your presence. If this is your idea of fun, I'm out. Wow. We can't even interact with him. Bad time out. And he's literally running away. Wow. <sighs> what can you do? What can you do? She doesn't know why, obviously, but... It's because, um, you know, he's jealous. Which is understandable, I guess. She's just gonna do her homework then. Um, well, if he's going home... I mean... What are these people doing? Oh, they're making drinks. I was like, what? Yeah, he's taking care- he was taking care of Nesta. I think she's okay, though. Yeah, she's fine. Let's go ahead and put her in the swing. But yeah, so she's probably really confused what's going on with him, but... You know... What can you do? Uh, let's go ahead and... Um... Just... Send Robbie a friendly text after that. So, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. You know, maybe even Robbie doesn't want to hang out, and she's just kind of like. She's just kind of really confused right now about what everybody's deal is and all of that. Because, you know, it's probably really confusing. So, we'll see. Speak of the devil. This is Ashley. 
Can we fight her? Is that a possibility? Where did she go? Let's go ahead and accuse her of being a diva. Forget the homework. Yeah, she's just in a bad mood and then Ashley comes and... Oh, Duke's aging up. And now these two are getting into it, and it's just like, <sighs> it's just terrible. Um, so let's berate her ignorance and argue with her. And this is just kind of the cherry on top for her today. <laughs> oh my god, she's slapping her. Oh my god. This is... Oh my god, no freaking way. We're fighting this bitch. Uh-uh. Jeez, man. Oh my gosh. We're arguing with her. Aelin obviously doesn't remember resort to violence, but she's resorting to violence. She's just hitting us all the time. You little bee. You know, Aelin's obviously, like, she's mad right now. And she's hurt. She's mad at Torrin. She's mad at Ashley. She's, I guess, just realizing she's really not happy with Robbie right now. He, d She doesn't know him, really. She just has always had a crush on him. So it's just like, bro. You know, what is going on? And she's feeling humiliated, which is understandable. You know, her curfew in one hour, too. Special. Whatever. So, you know, obviously things kind of resorted to violence for a little bit. And she is just absolutely just not having it and you know it's late but she's like bro what is up with Torian and it's just not going well <laughs> it's just not going well right now it really isn't just give me a little just give me a minute just give me a minute give me, like, give me one sec where is he okay he's right here okay that's all I needed to know all right. <laughs> That's all I needed to know. <laughs> um, let's... I'm actually going to go ahead and teleport him there. <laughs> um, just for a sec. Aelin's literally right here. He's literally right here. Um... Let's go ahead and make her active real quick. I just wanted to know. Alright, so maybe Torin hears the commotion and he comes back. And she is just going to ask him what the heck is wrong with him? Like, what's going on with him? Like, what? what is this, you know? And, you know, he's probably, like, really... You know, they might argue a little bit, and then this is going to happen. He did the moment kiss. We're going to see if he returns this. And if he doesn't, then she's just going to go home. <laughs> but if he does, then y'all already know. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. O-M-G. No way. Maybe they're, like, arguing, and she's just like, okay, screw it, and kiss and maybe she's been realizing her feel. Oh my god. There is no way. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you. Thank you for it. Oh, Fleet Fit's pregnant. <gasps> oh, this just got a little bit crazy. Alright, let's go ahead and... Um... 
compromise appearance. <laughs> oh! Aelin and Torin have finally made their moving kiss. Even though there was some accidental nose bumping, she'll always remember the first time their lips met. Oh! I love these two. Like, actually. Let's do a shy kiss. Because maybe they've both been wanting this for a while, you know? <laughs> you know, maybe they're just like confessing to each other what they've kind of been feeling for each other but haven't really been able to express. Oh, this is adorable, guys. Um, let's see, what else can we do? Um, hold his hand, and dip kiss, and embrace. Oh. This just got a little dramatic. And she has a naughty reputation, well. And they're breaking curfew. Great. Can you run from the cops in this game? Okay, well, maybe like they get caught and before they can finish what they're doing, so. She's gonna get grounded again. Yep. Maybe we can sneak in. Yes, we can sneak in, no parents. All right, well, she was rounded up, but whatever. Oh, Dorian caught her. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pick up in the morning, and she's feeling pretty confused right now. So, And Aelin has a cheater reputation. So, yeah. Oh, well. Um, He's going to go ahead and put Nessa in the crib. They're just getting ready for work right now. And, yeah. So, he's actually pretty close with Aelin. Um, maybe she'll just talk to him later. Or maybe even go and talk to Elaine. Just like a woman about this. Because we just need to figure it out. We have to figure it out. She obviously knows that she lo is probably like really... Uh, he's going to scold us. In love with... Torin, but you know on the same hand um kind of maybe you know even you know Adian doesn't understand bro he's not a woman don't even think about leaving this house bro go to work <laughs> go and see what work I think I don't think so, Missy. You're grounded. We're just literally going to get something to eat. What the heck? Um. Okay, go to school. She has to sneak out to go to school. We're gonna call babysitter, and yeah, she is going to work on some late homework. He finished his homework, so he's just gonna talk to his friends. But yeah, so Fleetfoot is pregnant. That's cool. You know. That's, that's kind of cool. Anyways, she wants to go on a date with Robbie. No, you don't. Not really. She is grounded, though, so that might make things a little difficult to go to prom. <laughs> that might make things a little difficult. Leanna's literally flirting with our brother. Oh, wouldn't that be cute, though? He might have to break up with Janice. What is her name? Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, she's a young adult now anyway, yeah. He might have to break up with her Loki. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and skip till they're out of school. I believe Aelin is at shop club today, so yeah. Let's see if Jesus, what is going on? Um Let's just invite Leanna over. 
see if we can kind of get with her. Um, we're actually going to send Janice a breakup text because, girl, no. Ex-girlfriend. So, I think after school, Aelin's probably going to head over to maybe even Caitlin's house just to kind of get an outsider perspective on what she should do, you know? Oh, this... Mm -mm. Mm. You got lucky this time, actually. You got real lucky. <gasps> Speak of the freaking devil. It is Torin. Torin Archeron, ladies and gents. Um, we're gonna visit the... We're gonna visit Caitlyn. Just really quick. Just see if we can... See if we can... Oh, looks like they're not home. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, he's being delusional again. Okay. Crap. Oh my god, let her off the hook, bro. Like, she's still dealing with her parents. Jeez. I think we're also going to... Um, let's teach Aelin to drive. Definitely not Dorian. I don't trust that man. Where's Vienna? She's here somewhere. Probably like... Oh, Loki? I think she... Okay. I guess she doesn't like Garada. Adian will do it then. She's literally arguing with him for no reason. What the heck? Yeah, she's being a little mean to him. Loki being mean. Stinker. Um. Oh, Leon is over here. Okay. Let's ask her how her day went. And do you want to sleep over? It's feeling a little Delulu right now. She's gonna... Did he already do his homework? Go ahead and do our homework. Anyways. Uh, da, 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 da. I want to have Adian give Fleet Foot a bath. Look at all these fish. I really like the koi fish. They're really cute. Oh my god, did our jellyfish die? Oof. Yeah. I think the jellyfish died. Let's bathe Fleetfoot and then bathe Duke. These guys are doing their homework. Or, actually, no, they're doing their homework at the table. Fair enough. Alright. So nobody's home. Why is nobody ever home? This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Bro, bathe the Duke, please. I'm begging. Oh, he's sleeping. Duke, come here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Alright, we gotta bathe Duke. And she's doing her. She wants to sing karaoke, okay, I guess. Maybe she can talk to Leanna about what to do. Oh, shoot! 
Lysandra's back home. Um, you know what? She's gonna be in a law enforcement career. Don't forget. I'm sorry, what? She's absolutely adorable. I love her. Oh, she yeah, this is the outfit for the School of Peace and Love. Love it. But yeah, she's gonna come back home, I guess. Uh, da, da, da. Now you have a newborn baby. That always pops up at the, like, the worst times, too. I hate it. Let's compliment her cooking and I think she does have a degree, technically. Oh, looks like I used to be in a sleeping bag, bro. Give bottle, snuggle, change diaper, play with, go back to sleep. Thank you for doing what nobody else apparently wanted to do. Alright. Where is Liana? I don't even know. We are gonna go ahead and send Robbie a breakup text because that's the advice Leanna gave is break up with him over text. Terrible. Just terrible. But Leanna, you know, we have to listen to her. Um I'm gonna move Lissandra out, I think. We'll get her a house. We'll get her this house. And, um, have a good life. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we'll visit her. Sometimes. I'll think of you often. Anywho. Oh, is she going to bed? Oh, she is. She could look. I don't get why these people don't sleep in the sleeping bags. You know what? Now's our time. Everybody's asleep. Everybody. <gasps> he wants to kiss her. He has a crush. Alright, we're going to compliment her a bunch. We're going to see. Oh. Yeah, they do like each other. Oh my god, they're on a date, please. We're gonna ask her to prom. Oh, Are you pranking me? I'm so happy you asked, and I'll go with you for sure. Be prepared to <laughs> Ah! Okay, we're gonna do what? We're gonna just go for it. Oh my gosh. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. <sighs> it's okay. Oh. Oh, she's a great kisser. Saj. And then risky woohoo. To add some spice. In his bed? Oh my god. Did she just... Oh look, Viola's here. Attend prom. With Leanna. Heard you. Where'd she go? Wait. Eh. 
Let's keep it here. Hopefully they do it this time. If not, I don't know what to do. Oh. Oh, they are doing it. Oh my gosh, girl. Somebody get up and, like, take care of this kid, bro. Oh. Oh my god. This is scandalous. Whew, thank god we didn't hear that sound. That would have been... That would have been a little, you know... Oh, they had a good, they had a good, uh, little date, you know? Alright, they were up all night, quite literally. <sighs> oh my god, get the, he just passed out because he saw Viola's ghost. That's actually wild. Oh my god, change your kid's diaper. <laughs> Dorian will be graduating soon. Since, uh, when? Bro, Dorian, let him. It's Nessa's birthday today. <sighs> Swear to God. Thanks, Dorian, but like, you're actually like getting on my nerves. What is wrong with this child? Put her in the crib. And then, Aelin just doesn't care. Like, like maybe she's happy about Dorian and um, Liana. She's out. That's okay, though. Doran has an A, surprisingly, in school. She has to go. Everybody has to go. That's crazy. Uh oh, there's only one day left to pay the bill. Oh, I forgot. I forgot we had bills, man. We do not have a lot of money, though. Because we bought Lissandra a house. And unfortunately, um, you know, they didn't really leave us with a lot of money. So that's actually really terrible anyways i'm gonna go ahead and end this part here if you enjoyed it please make sure to like comment and subscribe oh my god she's just looking at us the menacing face that's anyways in the next part we will probably go to prom and so we will be aging up nesta into a toddler and maybe dorian no not dorian but yeah you get it um, anyway, so I will see you guys in my next video. Stay safe, friends. Bye-bye.